Oh, I forgot that video was suspended. That video was confiscated. Yeah. That's right. That video was confiscated. Yeah, I forgot yeah, about that. And North Korean leader Kim Jong-un is now openly criticizing members of his openly own government. Kira, just government. the fact that their state media is reporting anything suggests how grave the situation may be. And, and perhaps this is a way to ask for help. Now, China, their strongest ally, has reportedly sent medical supplies. But Kim yeah, I forgot uh, that, that video. That video I went to find's already been confiscated. Yeah, because somebody was doing some inappropriate stuff on my live and... uh. They banned they uh, they banned me from getting the video. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Yeah, uh, they banned me from getting that video because somebody basically yeah just did some crazy stuff on when they was on their screen. So I, I they said I cannot get that video. Yeah. So yeah, that's why that conversation with me, Kiki, J Ducks. Uh, and uh, Cleola and uh, some of the other people was uh, wasn't posted on TikTok because yeah, somebody was doing some crazy stuff on there and they just kept me from getting the video. Basically, said I cannot get this video because it has some type of violations in it. Yeah, Chicago, here you in Chicago? I'm in Lexington, Kentucky. I'm in Lexington, Kentucky. And has rejected this vaccines from international organizations. This as far as the U.S. is concerned, it says it supports international aid. When you're Kira, this is all happening as President Biden, and Biden is set to depart for South Korea today. The president's supposed to meet with the leader of South Korea to discuss economic security issues. But there is a concern. How long have you been living there? I've been living here for like 22 years, 22, 23 years. Yeah. Focus of these talks to I tell her everybody I'm from her, but I'm not from her. Maggie, but I tell her everybody I'm from her because I've been living here so long and it feels like home. It feels like home because I was in some foster homes. I was in some foster homes when I was here. You know, and this was my favorite place to live. This was my favorite place to live. I didn't, I didn't know it. I mean, I knew it at the time, but for some reason I went back to the county that I was from after I got out of state's custody. I'm like, why would I go back here? I, I said, why would I go back here? And then I moved up here. I moved back up here because family members put me out because I wasn't getting along with them. And, uh, yeah. Moved back here and then, uh, freaking, uh, was homeless for a little while. And then, yeah, got my own place, yeah. Yeah. But I said, I'd rather be homeless up here than be homeless down there with they Down there in them side counties. Down there in the country, they ain't got no soup kitchens where I was from. They ain't got no soup kitchens to feed me. You know what I'm saying? So I, they ain't got no homeless shelters, so I moved up here. Because they had homeless shelters and soup kitchens, and finally got my own place. And yeah. yeah. I just started watching your video. Keep up the great work. Okay. I will. I keep up the great, great work. I keep it up. Like the 2022 Ford Escape with a perfect combination of capability and versatility. Gotta look in your eye. More adventure. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. What is that? They play commercials on my stuff. You playing commercials on my stuff. And welcome back to ABC News Live. I'm Kira Phillips. It could be weeks before we know which Republican won the Pennsylvania State pri or Senate primary. Dr. Mehmet Oz or former hedge fund manager David McCormick. There are still tens of thousands of votes to be counted, and there's likely to be an automatic recount. Former President Trump. God got you, y'all. Yeah, God got me. Yeah. God got me. Yeah. What's I say? All right, right. That was God got me. Yeah. Yeah. God fights all my battles. Well, not all of them, but he fights a lot of them. Yeah. He's like, hey, yeah, y'all keep, y'all keep on, and I'm be fighting that battle. He's like, y'all keep on, I'm be fighting that battle. God fights a lot of my battles. God got me. God take care of me. Yeah. Yeah. He did him. He did him. He did him wrong down there when they did me wrong. He did him straight wrong. Oh man, I thought he did that for me. I can't say what it was though. I can't say what it was. Yeah, but yeah, he did him wrong. Yeah. Actually, strike Amber repeatedly. Are you? Am I married? No, I'm not married. 
I'm not married. Gigi no. Holmes has the latest. I'm not married. If he was using or if he was drinking. Single. My girlfriend just broke up with me. Yeah. My girlfriend just broke up with me because she said I was acting steamy. She said I was acting steamy on here. <laughs> and she said I was flirting with too many women on TikTok. <laughs> but I mean, I wasn't flirting with him. I was just basically being friends with him. And, uh, yeah, then, uh. She I basically him told him, uh, one, if things don't work out with my girlfriend, you'll be second in line. And if things don't work out with me and her, you'll be third in line. And she seen all that stuff because I, I downloaded the videos and she broke up with me. She said, you can keep them. You can have them. <laughs> when the actress for a December 2015 late night talk show appearance a day after her alleges Depp split her lip open among other injuries she says he caused. We covered, you know, the... But now the I got my eyes set on somebody. I got my eyes set on somebody right now. Yeah. Team now bracing yeah. For his got my eyes set on my one of my doctors. Got my eyes set on one of my doctors. Yeah. I'm gonna ask one of my doctors out sooner or later. This Caucasian lady with blonde hair. Yeah. Uh, you know better than that. No better than what? Oh, yeah, I know better. I knew they was trying to set me up. I knew they was trying to set me up so she would see it. And she, I knew she would see it. And, uh, yeah, they be over there at, uh, Flirting with me in my comment section where everybody can see. I mean, I knew they was trying to set me up, but I really didn't care. Cause I really didn't want to be in a relationship after she broke up with me, and then I was I was mad. I was mad, and I told the other chick it, 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 uh, to lose my number because I told her we we, we could be friends. Until maybe I'm single. If I'm ever single, I said I'll probably be in this relationship for a long while. And I told her to lose my number. And the other one, I wouldn't even give my number. I told her, nah, I ain't messing with you. I ain't messing with you. Because she came on my live and stuff talking about, okay. Okay. Man, now you just got crazy with, crazy with me yesterday. You're a sensitive, a sensitive piece of crap. I said, you're a sensitive piece of crap. I said, nah, I ain't messing with your crazy butt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how long were y'all both? We was only together four weeks. We was only together four weeks. Yeah. Only together four weeks. But, yeah. That's the way the cookie crumble. She told me, you better, you better quit talking to people about me. I'm going to keep talking about you and whoever I want to talk about. <laughs> She said, like, you better quit talking. She said, like, you better keep my name out your mouth. <laughs> I said, my name ain't been in your mouth, but I've been talking. You know I'm talking about you. Because, you, you know, you know, you know what we done talked about or what we, we done uh, not been through, what we done been through on video chat. So, you know I'm talking about you when they say, say the stuff I say. Yeah, we, we was on video, video chat together. We never met in real, real life. We was just video chat, yeah. Yeah. Long work. You seem like a fun and cool guy. Oh, yeah, that's what a lot of people say. That's what a lot of people say, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm fun. I think I'm fun. Unless you get me around a dangerous crowd. If I get around a dangerous crowd, I won't make a road. I won't make a, I won't make a peak. Yeah, get around dangerous crowd or, you know, yeah, obnoxious dudes that like bullying people. I'll be quiet, I just sit down in my corner like that, just be quiet. Yeah, but if I'm around a good company, if I'm around good company, I'm fun to be around, yeah. So yeah, I know I have some people that used to come over, you know, that like rubbing you the wrong way and testing you because they don't want to hear you talk. They don't want to hear you talk. Uh, you know, you get to talk and then they think you're soft. So, yeah, they want to say crazy stuff to you. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's sounds like some jealous stuff. Sound like you try to run the show. Sound like you jealous. Yeah, that's why I be thinking in my head. Yeah, yeah. So there are certain people get around, I get quiet. Yeah. I don't let them people come around no more, though. I don't let them. I told them people stay away from my house. Yeah. Did you get your workout in for the day? Oh, when I'm working out, they can't mess with me. When, I, when I'm working out, I don't shut my mouth for nobody. But when I'm taking, like, doing cardio, just doing my walks, I'm, I, I shut my mouth. I shut my mouth, yeah. Yeah, when I'm doing cardio, I get around the wrong crowd, shut my mouth. But when I'm doing my pull, hanging on my pull-up bar, lifting my waist, I don't shut my mouth for nobody. But when I'm not working out, like right now, I'm just doing cardio. I just started doing cardio today. 
I, I just start working out today and start doing more cardio. Today I'm doing cardio every day, walking, riding bikes, jogging. So I'm, I know how to keep my mouth shut. Yeah, but when I'm working out, I get, I get strong. But I work out, so I get strong. Yeah. But I'm not working out right now. I stopped working out after yesterday. I stopped lifting weights after left yesterday. Yeah. I focus. I need more cardio. I need more cardio because cardio is healthier. Cardio is healthier. Yeah. Suspect accused of killing 10 people and injuring three others appearing just moments ago in court. Stephanie Ramos is with us, also senior investigative correspondent. Eric What's up, Turkey. Cliff? Hope you and have a good. Hope you have a good Ryan day, Meyer, too. Uh, hope, joining us from hope you have a good this. day, We're too. The pictures right here for the very first time, guys, of uh, Peyton Gendron walking into that courtroom in the orange white jumpsuit. As we look at these pictures that we're seeing for the very first time, Aaron, tell us exactly what happened in court. This was a very brief appearance, Kira, for Peyton Gendron, who's accused so far of one count of first degree murder, uh, to which his attorney says he's not guilty. The case is now with the grand jury in Erie County, and so this particular hearing. But that's why I stayed to myself, because this is my kingdom, and I can act the way I want to act. And no negative people, they get negative, they ain't coming back here no more. Now you can't come back here no more, I don't mess with you. You know what I'm saying? But they, yeah, that's why I stayed to myself, I got my kingdom. Everybody else want all kinds of people around. Everybody else want all kinds of people, I don't want nobody around. I don't want nobody around, because I'm going to act the way I act, make sure you ain't got no problem with it, make sure I don't come up on America's most America's I mean uh, I mean unsolved mystery make sure I don't come up on unsolved mysteries because some old jealous dude was in here chilling with me and didn't like what I was saying didn't like how I talked and then come on on unsolved mysteries or something nah I stay to myself ain't nobody coming in my kingdom cause they all negative they all negative that's why you see me in here you hardly ever see anybody in here every now and then you see like one of one person in here, my niece, my sister, my brother, but it's always me in here, and all the negativity out the door. I stayed to myself. That's the way to be. Everybody want all these friends. Everybody want all these friends and stuff. Why you want all them friends so they can rub you the wrong way and hate on you and stuff and talk behind your back and stab you in the back? You know what I'm saying? And still be cool with them. Still, still breaking bread with them. Nah, I'm going to stay to myself because friends ain't enough. Family ain't nothing. Nobody ain't nothing. Stay to myself. My king. Reign supreme. One charge, I would say, is the placeholder. That's in order to get the process moving. The grand jury is going to be both uh, evaluating. Well, I hope, hope you have a hope somebody. you have a good day I too. Expect a lot yeah. more charges, hate crime charges, reckless endangerment, uh, ten more murders, I'll and also supreme. attempted murder to those that were injured. So I would expect a laundry list of charges da, 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 uh, facing a Buffalo shooter in the near future. Uh, what did you make, Brian, of his appearance? Um, you know, very different from yesterday, where he came in. We saw pictures of him in court in, in like. No, a he acted slow. Gown. He acted uh, slow. Today, he's coming in in his jumpsuit, not showing any emotion, but under heavy guard. Yeah, I think the contrast is where he came from. I mean, when we first saw him in the hospital guard, he most likely came from the hospital, got evaluated uh, to some degree. That's going to be something the defense is going to try to use potentially for a future defense. But here, he's coming from a jail or a temporary holding facility, and so he's more adorned with that kind of jailhouse uh, outfit that we're seeing. And I think just because of the gravity of the situation, he's probably had an opportunity to speak with his lawyer a little bit more. You're seeing a more reserved, quiet person who's not going to be... Uh, making a lot of noise or speaking out a lot during this short of Germans. Right. And Stephanie, you know, you're there in Buffalo. You've been covering this story from the very beginning. Just talk to us about how the community has come together uh, in the past few days and what it's been like to be there just in the wake of everything. 
Well, Kira, this community has really been relying on each other for strength. As you can imagine, this is a very difficult time for them. They, this, this gunman allegedly, we have to say, showed up to this Topps supermarket in Buffalo. Tops. And, and this is a place where a, a lot of members of the community Tops. see as a, as a community center. This is where they they gather, where they exchange stories and conversations. And uh, when when you hear people say, this is a tight-knit community, Tops. it really is. Everyone seems to know each other. There have been prayer rallies and prayer food rallies. distribution tents set up so that uh, these folks have a place to go to get their food. This was the, the really only supermarket on the east side of Buffalo that they could go to. And of course, now it's closed as part of the investigation. They've really... Uh, come together to really give each other strength during this extremely difficult time. One more question, Aaron. I'll take it to you. Uh, you know, you have been reporting that officials learned that the suspect was able to buy this semi-automatic rifle in part because he was never subjected to New York's red flag law. We talked about this yesterday. Uh, that would have prevented the store actually from selling him a weapon. And when we covered red flag in this live event, talking about signing this executive order that would change that. Um, how quickly could this go into effect, and how would this change things? This would change things because it would take the guesswork out of the, the red flag law. Currently, Kira, to, to get a court to evaluate someone as a What's going on? to him or herself or others, How's it, going? Uh, it takes a petition from a, a relative, a school, police officer. Red and flag! what the governor wants to do is make that automatic in the case of someone like Peyton Gendron, who made a mention of murder-suicide during a writing assignment last June. He was evaluated, underwent a mental health screening for about a day and a half, and that was it. In the future, the governor wants the state police to automatically refer that kind of case to a court so they can do a, a, a screening to see whether a red flag should apply. Got it. All right, Aaron, thanks so much. Stephanie, Ryan, I know we'll be talking a lot uh, for the, throughout the day and also tomorrow as we follow every move in this case. Thank you. The FDA commissioner is testifying now on the nationwide baby formula shortage at a hearing on Capitol Hill. They short a baby formula. Is taking major new steps to address this crisis now. The president invoking the Defense Production Act and ordering the use of Defense Department aircraft to import formula now from overseas. ABC News senior national policy correspondent Ann Flurdy joining me now for more on this. Flurdy. What can Clary. we expect from this hearing that uh, allegedly started? started uh, uh, at the top of the hour. Not sure if uh, we were able to check in on it and see if indeed it's in full force, but what can we expect as we wait for it to start? Clarity. Well, Kira, I think the FDA commissioner is going to be under some tough questioning today. There's no doubt that the Biden administration yeah, is under chicken, a terrific amount of political pressure prices. with this formula crisis. There are many, many chicken questions that he prices. has to answer. The first one is going to be chicken when are we going to see more formula on shelves? The chicken Biden administration says they're taking steps, I need more water. but it's not I need clear more water. that anything is going to happen for weeks more to come. And then, of course, the lawmakers are going to ask, what took so long? Why is the Biden administration just acting now with these dramatic moves, the Defense Production Act, flying formula in from Europe? Why didn't they do this sooner? And I think the FDA is going to have to talk about their actions in overseeing this facility, Abbott's facility in Sturgis, Michigan. So this is the facility that shut down after they de detected a deadly bacteria. Uh, but there were indications that the FDA they knew about this last fall. It wasn't shut down until February. Why wasn't more done to prevent this kind of crisis? So I think he's going to have some tough questioning today. Yeah, we all want to hear the answers to those questions. Um, and, you know, th let's talk about the fact that the president invoked the Defense Production Act now to help alleviate this, this shortage. But realistically, how soon could this actually happen? And you know, what do we do in the meantime when we need formula? Right. Well, I'm not convinced that the Defense Production Act is going to be I want what's going enough. to change the tra I want trajectory. I want what's of enough. Neutral. 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 My stuff. My hub. My hub. My stuff. TV. The Godfather of Harlem. The Godfather of Harlem. Find some ABC.
Let's check out ABC. Thought this was the news. I don't know if I'm allowed to watch these on my TikTok lives. I gotta watch the news. I can't watch breaking up because the news comes on TV. Yeah. Well, this comes on TV, but I don't think I'm allowed to watch uh, videotape television episodes or not. Yeah. Go back to the news. Let's find some news, different news show. Find a different news show. The View. The View. The View. Chicken Little Prices, babe. There we go. Good morning, America. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Good morning, America. America. We need you. We need you, America. Hiring is Chicken Little Prices. Finding the right people with a very difficult task. ZipRecruiter finds us the best people for the job. They sent my jobs to the top job sites and to found people shop with the right job skills and sites. experience. We've hired everyone from accountants to project managers to field scientists. With ZipRecruiter, we get hiring results. No, I don't want to see ZipRecruiter, rated the number one hiring site. Try it for... Fast forward. Where's my TV remote? I have no idea what my TV remote is. Let me turn the sound down. Like that music playing. It's messed up because I can't find my TV remote. Now I can turn the sound up. If I have my TV remote, I just flick the wrist. I got to lean over. Pennsylvania Republican Senate primary race between Dr. Mehmet Oz and David McCormick, a major test of former President Trump's endorsement. While another one of Trump's picks loses his bid for re-election. The state of play for the country in the midterms right Chicken now. Chicken low prices, yeah. President Biden and the First Lady visiting the scene of the deadly shooting in Buffalo. What happened here is simple and straightforward. Terrorism. This as new details emerge about the gunman and his online posts, plus the possible red flag just 30 minutes before the attack. New report in the China plane crash investigation. U.S. officials believe the jet was intentionally crashed, killing all 132 people on board, plus what else investigators discovered about one of the pilots. Trapped in the sand, one teenager was killed after sand collapsed on him and his sister while digging a hole. One is uh, completely submerged under the sand, probably probably uh, 10 feet. The beach warning right now. Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard. Why, why can't he look at me? I survived. I survived that man, and I'm here, and I'm able to look at him. Depp's lawyers accused Heard of doctoring evidence photos of alleged injuries. Plus, who's still on the witness list? Spring break cold case. What police are revealing about the... Calling the dog out. Calling the dogs out. Calling the dogs out. TikTok family. Come out and play. Come out and play. Their special formula. No. Mighty, mighty. Let it all hang out. I don't want to play music. See, they play. They try to give me a content violation with this stuff. Play this music. Now there's gonna be parts I can't even download to my live. There's gonna be parts I can't even download to my live. Morning, big, big dog. What's go? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, big dog. Man, I don't want to hear that music. Why y'all keep playing that music? You will give me a content violation. Gorgeous. Uh, we'll get in.
into that with him this morning. He'll be live talking about our changing planning. There you go, Brad. Political, political, political primaries in the nation. Voters went to the polls in five states yesterday. Several key contests attested Donald Trump's political clout. Congressional correspondent Rachel Scott tracking it all. Good morning, Rachel. Rachel Scott. Hey, George. Good to be with you all this morning. This was one of the most dramatic primaries yet, full of so many twists and turns, especially in Pennsylvania's Senate race. You had a Democratic candidate suffer a stroke, get an election day surgery, and win from the hospital to the Republican election night cliffhanger that's still way too close to call. This morning, all eyes on Pennsylvania's Republican Senate primary. All eyes the on race, still too close to call. Like we can have a result. Turn it down. We can see the path ahead. We can see victory ahead, and it's all because of you. Former hedge fund CEO David McCormick locked in a tight you. race with TV doctor Mehmet Oz, with far right commentator Kathy Barnett trailing further behind. They had a call, and I'm not conceding, so don't report it. <laughs> The primary, a major test of Trump's endorsement. The former president throwing his support behind Oz. I'm humbly asking all Pennsylvanians to do to vote for someone that they know will win in the general election, which is one of the main reasons President Trump gave for endorsing me. In the Democratic Senate race, Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman suffered a stroke just days ago, undergoing surgery on election day and hours later winning the race. His wife claiming victory. Now you may have noticed I am not John Fetterman. <laughs> The next senator of our great state. Why are you doing this more? What are you doing this one? Uh, just watching the news and wait for my chicken to get done so I can take a walk. Wait for my chicken to get done so I can take a walk. Yeah. Contest. I don't know if I'm going to get on a treadmill or if I'm going to freaking uh, from taking a gun for oh, from a walk at outside, airport, yeah. To suggesting lawmakers invited him to sex parties and use cocaine. Trump's endorsement, not enough to push Cawthorn across the finish line. Well, Trump did score wins in North Carolina's Senate primary and Pennsylvania's I know, I'll probably primary. walk outside, yeah. Probably walk outside, yeah. 2020 election. Robin? All right, Rachel, good to have you here in the studio with us this morning. And now to the latest on the supermarket massacre. President Biden and the First Lady visited the scene they spent time with the grieving families, left flowers there at the She's memorial for the 10 victims. We are Robin. ABC News has confirmed Brick. that some of those alleged messages posted online by the suspect were made in a private group 30 minutes before the attack. It's unclear who had access to them or who saw them. This morning, President Biden sending a message after that racist rampage in Buffalo. What happened here is simple and straightforward. Terrorism. Terrorism. Domestic terrorism. The president and first lady meeting with the families of the 10 victims who lost their lives when an 18-year-old gunman opened fire at Topps Supermarket on Saturday in what authorities call a racially motivated attack. We need to say as clearly and force as we can that the ideology of white supremacy has no place in America. The president blasting those who embrace replacement theory. The racist She's a brick. held by the shooter that there's a conspiracy to replace white Americans with people. Of okay, color. sounds this good, my brother. Another day, we bless. Another day, we bless. Another day, we wake up in the morning. He was investigated for Bless to wake up. You got to thank God every, every morning you wake up. Attention yeah. now turning to the 589 Thank God every night you go to sleep and every morning you wake up. The suspect allegedly wrote on the social media platform Discord prior to the supermarket attack. Overnight, ABC News confirming that some of those posts were made in a private group 30 minutes prior to the attack. It's unclear who had access to them or who saw them. In December, the suspect allegedly building up an arsenal of weapons, including the rifle used in the assault. A in February, a wife. post claiming that his parents were unaware of the ammo and arsenal he'd acquired. Then in March, multiple posts about his alleged visit to the Buffalo area, where he did reconnaissance on the Topps grocery store. The shooter also allegedly posting about taking... I see you. See y'all when I go on my walk, later. See when I go on my walk, later. He killed... Then, on May 5th, just over a week before the attack, the suspect noting he'd been lying to his See parents you know, for months, 
a community suffering, not only the loss of loved ones, she but also the story it. they relied on. And all hang she's out. Been, she so not brown. So for it to be closed for any period of time, she it's a hardship the only for some people. It all the mayor out. also tells me there's been an outpouring of support with money and food donations for uh, distribution uh, centers. He uh, also uh, says Tops is working to set up rides uh, for residents so they can get to other Tops grocery stores. T Tops. Thank you so much. Tops. Turn now to the latest on the war in Ukraine. Finland and Sweden have submitted their NATO application, the direct response to Vladimir Putin's invasion. This is Russia takes over a key Ukrainian city. Our senior foreign correspondent Ian Panel is there for us. Good morning, Ian. Yeah, good morning, TJ. A difficult week for Ukrainians. What's going on, Miss Liver? Effectively surrendering. And now some uncertainty whether they'll be exchanged for Russian prisoners of war. But it's also proving a difficult week for Vladimir Putin as NATO could be about to enlarge. She mad and mad. Ukrainian fighters and are out. steel plant in Mariupol laying down their arms and now evacuating the city. Russia claiming almost a Oh, you try to go live. I put the invite. The you try to go live on me back. In back. I put the. Oh, let me let me go check it out. I see some. The Ukrainian government pushes to exchange them for Russian prisoners of war. But Russia saying it's intended for Ukrainians. And now there are signals from Moscow that some of them could be brought to Russia. Five, four, three, two, one. What's going on, Miss Liver? Hi. What's going on? I'm doing all right. <laughs> Are you doing good? Yeah, that's good. You been yeah. running the marathons? No. <laughs> yeah. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just chilling. I was just hanging out. Yeah. I'm just sitting here doing my. Yeah. Life. Got my chicken in the oven. Watching my yeah. I'm probably going to wait till later on in the day to get my walk. I'm going to do a TikTok live on yeah. my walk. But, uh, because mm -hmm. yeah, I ate, I ate, uh, I ate about two, four, six, eight. I ate like eight tortillas yesterday, so I overdid it a little bit. That's I ate, good. Like, nine, I ate like 2,900 calories, so yeah, I'm going to wait till later That's on good. in the day to eat my chicken after I get some of that food from yesterday out of my system. Yeah. And then take my uh -huh. walk and get it back under control. Get it back under the control. The fifteen hundred, two thousand calories, maybe three, a hundred to three hundred over two, two thousand calories. Yeah. Yeah. I was on the treadmill yesterday. Did my exercise yesterday on the treadmill. Where you got treadmill at? I went to the gym on South oh, South okay. Hill. Oh, I thought you and got the, a treadmill in your apartment. Yeah. Uh -uh. No, indeed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure, I'm at the clinic today. What you go to the clinic for? For my eyes. For your eyes? Okay. What's wrong with your mm -hmm. eyes? You look rising? I probably asked too many questions. <laughs> yeah. You ain't got to answer if you don't want to answer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna call you back. I'm gonna call you back. I gotta go. Hi, right, letter, letter. Sir, Mrs. Bradley. Excuse me. So, join the guest live. Why is the screen still up there? Alrighty, so join my live, join my live, and you will be posted on TikTok when you join my live. Send a guest request, and you will be posted. And you'll probably get clout just because I got a lot of followers. You'll probably get clout and get, I don't know, if, I ain't going to promise that you'll get followers for joining my live. Because you might not get any followers or any life. But join my live and get some clout. <laughs> what is clout anyways? I keep hearing people. I know I'll probably be looking for clout a lot of times, but I have no idea what clout is. I have no idea what clout is. Yeah. I have no idea what clout is. You know, but uh yeah, I mean I know I I even though I don't know what it is, I'll probably be looking for clout a lot of the time. Yeah. Yeah. 
I probably be looking for a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody tell me what cloud is. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I keep hearing people, everybody saying you looking for clout and I oh, did do it for clout. I'll be like, yeah, I did it for clout. I, yeah, I did it for clout. You know, my brother say some stuff like that. You did it for clout. I say, yeah, I did it for clout. And my niece say, oh, oh you just try to get clout. Have me on the phone on your live. Have me on the phone with y'all. I say, yeah, I'm trying to get clout. I'm trying to let the people see see me doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, but I don't even know what clout is. I just, you know, just be saying, it. yeah. Yeah. Basically doing it for, uh, doing it for popularity. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing it for clout then. Yeah, I'm just doing it, just, I'm just doing it. Yeah, I guess I'm doing it for popularity. Yeah, yeah, I take that back. I guess I am doing it for popularity. Yep, that's probably why I'm doing it for popularity. Yeah. Seniority. 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 Senor. 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 I had to plug y'all in. It came unplugged. I mean, it, I had to charge. I had to charge it. Yeah. Man, hotline blinging. He said he hotline. Whoa, man. I, I need to get this straight. Yeah, I need to get this straight. Yeah. He said he hotline blinging. He hotline bling. I can get, get a good angle on this. Yeah. Let me scoot you over a little bit. Hotline bling. There we go. There we go. Being cool to blow up. Nah, I basically just do anything. I, I, I do a lot of embarrassing stuff. I do a lot of embarrassing stuff on her that most people are being embarrassed to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically doing it for popularity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I guess for clout. I guess for clout. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not, I, I know I'll never be famous because I know society don't like I mean, y'all, y'all, y'all like me. And people on TikTok like me, but. As far as the majority of the world don't like me. Yeah. The majority of this city I live in don't like me. Yeah. I could tell on Instagram, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook, uh, YouTube. I don't get no views and just the stuff they did to me when I was locked up in prison. I could tell majority of people don't like me. You know what I'm saying? So I, you have to have people like you in order to be famous. But, I mean, I could be TikTok famous or maybe YouTube famous or Instagram famous one day, even though they don't like me on the other apps, except the only app they don't like me on is TikTok. But, uh, and I, what, just the stuff they did to me while I was in prison and in jail, you know, and in the different, uh, some of the different jails, I could tell society don't like me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And this is the stuff they used to do to me when I was on the street. Yeah what they would try to do to me, you know, on the street. But uh I can tell people all like again the way just the way people from all walks of life, the way they used to look at me. The way they used to look at me. Yeah. Now everybody respects me now. Everybody respects me now. I walk down the street, people pass me, don't even look twice at me. I don't look twice at them, but I can see them on my peripheral vision. And they don't even pay me no mind. They don't even look at me. Used to I used to get some evil looks. I used to get some evil looks. But now they respect me, but I still don't think they like me. I mean, I don't do enough for the community, so that's probably why I could never be a Hollywood celebrity because I don't give back enough. I ain't got nothing to give. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I have a, you know, it's hard enough taking care of myself. You know what I'm saying? What do I got to give? You know? So I don't give. I don't give the charity enough. 
a lot of them Hollywood celebrities, they give the charity to keep that stuff famous, to keep that stuff making money. They give the charities and give buy people houses and stuff like that. I don't do stuff like that, so I, that's probably why society don't like me now because I don't do nothing wrong now. Used to, they didn't like me because I did all, everything wrong. Used to, they didn't like me because I did everything wrong. Now, I just don't give back enough. I don't give the charity enough. So that's why I know I'll never be a Hollywood celebrity because I don't give back enough. You know? Yeah. I ain't got nothing to give these people. I ain't got nothing. I, I sent somebody some money on Cash App the other day and went broke. Sent my last $8 on Cash App. Sent my last $8 to somebody on Cash App that I did not know. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know him, but I sent it to him. Yeah. And I'm broke on Cash App, but yeah. Yeah. So I figured out. But yeah, other than that, I don't really give back enough. Yeah, I don't give out enough money. Yeah. I give, I might give somebody five dollars if I got my last five dollars on cash out, my last eight dollars, but I'm not giving nobody no twenty five dollars. I'm not giving nobody no thirty dollars. Well, I could be taking that spine, me some healthy food. I give them the stuff I got left over. If I got five to eight dollars left over, oh here, here you go. Yeah. You might, yeah, but yeah. I got I gotta spend that twenty five dollars, that thirty dollars on some healthy food, some toothpaste, some mouthwash. Some freaking, uh, give me a bunch of mouthwash, toothpaste, freaking deodorant. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Send 25. I ain't, I ain't, I told you I ain't got nothing on my cash app now. Told you I ain't got, I gave my last $8 away. Yeah, I gave my last $8 away on my cash app. Yeah. Yeah. And I told you I ain't sending nobody no uh, nothing, nothing over. I ain't sending nothing over eight dollars to nobody. And right now I'm broke, so I ain't sending nothing. Yeah. Next time somebody give me some money on my cash app, and I take half of it, spend half of it. I mean the majority of it on what I want. And if I got any change left over, I send it to one of my TikTok friends. Cash app. I have no idea who you are, dude. I ain't sending you nothing. Why you give it away? Uh. I have no idea who you are, but, uh, yeah, one of my TikTok friends, if I got, like, $5 left over after I spend my stuff, I'll send it to them. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't, and y'all don't start asking me for stuff, because right now I ain't got no money on my cash app. Yeah. It'd take me a million years to get around to sending everybody $5 over a period of time. Yeah. it will take me a million years. And the next person I send something's probably gonna be a real good TikTok friend. Yeah. Yeah. But right now I gotta wait till my sister send me thirty dollars for my birthday on my cash app. And I don't know if she's gonna send it to me. And if I got five dollars left over after I get some raisins and some pineapples and whatnot, some healthy foods, if I got five dollars left over, I'll pick the person I wanna send it to. Yeah. LOL. Why did I give it away? Because I felt like being kind. I felt like being kind. Yeah. I help all my family members out with food and stuff in my, my in my house. But I don't help nobody outside my family. But I felt like being kind to a stranger. I felt like being kind to a stranger. Yeah. That's why I gave it away. She, she said she wanted to get some lettuce. I'm like, well, only thing I got is $8. I mean... I give you eight dollars if you want to get some lettuce, yeah. Cause she said she wanted to try something. One of the, one of the meals that I made with sweet potatoes and lettuce. Well, I mix the sweet potatoes and lettuce together. The sweet potatoes get a lettuce flavor, you know. I felt like being kind to a stranger. Yeah, yeah. Next time I'll probably make somebody do at one of my videos before I send them five to eight dollars. Be like, do at one of my videos. When you do at my video, I'll send you five or eight dollars, something like that. Yes, yeah, have them send a request to me and stuff. But right now, I'm broke, yeah. Yeah. Where you from? Where I'm from? Cincinnati. Cincinnati. <laughs> Kansas City. Kansas City. Colorado. California. <laughs>
Can't hear no stalkers coming for Oliver's twist. Oliver twist. Oliver twist. For nearly three months. What is your coincidence saying all these guys basically changed the course of the war? Even so, this is a defeat for Ukraine. With Mariupol now in Russia, I love Russia twist. appears to have created a land bridge connecting... We Russia can't to listen to this. I need to find some. I said playing too much music and stuff. Why are you playing all that music? Why are you playing all that music? Play that fucking music. Play that fucking music. Play that fucking music. Play that fucking music. David Mule. David Mule. David Mule. David Mule. Play that funky music. Play that funky music. Play that funky music. Check it to Oh, you gonna play some music, ain't you? What's that fun? I knew you was gonna play some music. I knew you was gonna play some music and try to give me a content violation. Play that funky music. Play that funky music. Play that funky music. Play that funky music. Play that funky 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 music. Oh. David Muir. David Muir. David Muir. David Muir. Concerns here in the U.S. They are raising the risk levels now in a third of the country, and what they're seeing in New York City. Good morning. Good morning. Formula shortage. Good morning. In one month, parts of the country now raising that risk level. We'll show you the map tonight of high-risk areas, including New York City, and what New York's mayor said just today. There is also breaking news on the nationwide baby formula crisis. President Biden will now invoke the Defense Production Act to restock formula. So how will this work? Cecilia Invite. Is right here tonight. New reporting in the Invest motivated mass shooting in, in Buffalo. Chest. ABC News learning tonight that some of the online posts allegedly made by the Invest in your chest. were shared with a private group online just 30 minutes Invest before in that your attack. Chest. Stephanie Ronalds in Buffalo. Invest in your chest. Today to Invest in your chest. What drove this today? What and are you plan for the plans for the day? And to cook my the chicken this in the oven. Rebecca Jarvis. Cook my lying. chicken. Overseas tonight. The war Take me a walk. Finland and Sweden now officially. But I'm gonna wait to eat my ch some of my chicken later on. The wait till this food's out my system from yesterday. I ate about two thousand nine hundred calories yesterday. I ate a little too, a lot of, uh, I ate way too much. I ate way too much, so I'm going to wait till later in the day, eat me a, uh, like two pieces of chicken, take me a walk, take me a walk outside, come back, chill at the crib, do TikTok lives off and on. Later on tonight, I might take another walk after I eat the other piece of chicken, take another walk. Well, the chicken ain't even big enough to be taking that many walks. The piece of the chicken ain't even big enough to be taking. If I have two pieces, I'll probably get 40 minutes in before I ain't got nothing in my system. I could probably get 40 minutes in before I ain't got nothing in my system. Yeah, that small piece of chicken, yeah. Okay, good deal, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, oh, yeah, oh, I ever read that, yeah. Good deal. Good deal. What the, what the, what the, what the? Let's go, let's go check on the chicken. I'm gonna let y'all sit here and listen. Oh, no, hold on. Let me pause this. I ain't got enough battery juice, so I need to check on my chicken, yo. But I ain't got enough battery juice to take y'all to the kitchen with me. So what we gonna do is, uh... What we gonna do? What we gonna do? Go, go check on my chicken. I'll be straight back. I'll be straight back. Yeah.
Chicken is done. That chicken is done. I might need this big piece and two small pieces to give me a one hour. No, give me a fifty minute walk in. One hour I'll probably be overdoing. Those are small pieces of chicken. Maybe get yeah. Maybe give me a one hour walk in. Yeah, give me a one hour walk. I'm, I might go a little overboard. Give me a one hour walk in. Who I be without you? I only think about you. Set it on that. I still set it on this weight on the ground too. Set it on that metal weight so it don't burn my floor. Yeah. Okay, good. What is your go-to season for chicken? I don't use no season for my meat. I don't use no season for my meat. Straight natural flavor. Straight natural flavor. I'm like one of them Caucasian people. I don't use no season. Straight natural flavor. Every once in a blue moon, I use some season. How long did you bake it for? I don't know. I have no idea. I baked it. I uh, put it in nine something this morning. What time is it? I put it in nine something this morning. It's ten forty three right now. Yeah, I stuck a I stuck a something in it, opened it up, and uh, it's it's done on the inside. Yeah, yeah. I feel you, OG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, let me read this comment. Oh, I already read that. They like come land, we won't go home. Day is it day is it day is it day? I never take these back to the kitchen now. They like come land, we won't go home. That's in the man, send them in their mind. They like come land, we won't go home. He's a day, he's a day, he's a day, yo. They like, come down, we won't go home. But go not some more, we so well. Crisis and the major new COVID concerns. What, your favorite song? My favorite song? I don't have a favorite song. I do not have a favorite song, yeah. I I don't have, I don't have, I can't choose just one song. There's so many good songs out there. I can't choose just one. I can't choose. If I listen to something for a long time, like off and on, I mean like every day or every other day you listen to it, I get burned out on it and got to take a break from it for like six months before I can listen to it again, before I feel in it again. Yeah, so I can't just choose one song, yeah. I like a variety of music, yeah. Tonight, 48 states yeah. now are projected to see hospitalizations rise in the coming weeks, and raising these risk levels means we have already seen hospitals and healthcare systems under increasing pressure and a rising death toll. Rise. Right. Tonight, warning that without additional funding from Congress, not rise everyone will get new vaccines if a new surge new strikes vaccine. this fall, as they expect. And tonight, here the CDC nine, nine, could nine, soon nine, give nine, the nine. green light for Pfizer booster shots for children Five. 5 to 11. As soon as tomorrow, Bows. ABC's Whit Johnson leading us off. Tonight, COVID hospitalizations again on the rise. Somebody sent a guest request. Somebody sent a guest request. Somebody sent a guest request, baby. Baby, baby, baby. More patients will die. In areas where community levels are high, everyone should be using prevention measures and wearing a mask in public indoor settings. Everyone. 137 counties nationwide now in the high-risk alert level. High risk. Increasing pressure on the health system. New York City high also risk. in that category, but for now, officials are resisting a mask mandate. Instead, only recommending high that risk. Indoors. We are not allowing high COVID risk. to outsmart us. High risk. We're staying prepared and not panicking. And tonight, the White House sounding the alarm about the Sound need the to alarms. The on COVID funding. We will find ourselves in the fall or winter uh, with people getting infected and no treatments available for them because we will have run out. It comes
arms what? of the CDC is expected to what? recommend boosters for 5 to 11-year-olds as early as tomorrow. And I started looking online right away to see about scheduling a shot for her to have the booster. It's just an extra level of assurance. Pfizer says... When they say they're running out of boosters! And an initial analysis found it increased antibodies against Omicron 36 fold. When they run out of so boosters, why am I going to get my next I booster shot? They running out of boosters. Booster Will my child need another shot this fall? And the simple answer is we just don't know. But it's important that we focus on the ways to protect everyone right now. How are they running out of booster right shot? I need my vaccine. I need COVID my vaccine. Highest point since February. And hospital admissions are now climbing to up 70% in the last month. And with Johnson back with us live tonight, and with we know the second. I probably misunderstood what they said. I'm always getting misinformation in my head. Also know misunderstand what they said. Americans have yeah. not gotten even their first booster yet. And, and tonight we took note that the CDC guidance on these boosters That's has shifted simple. for people uh, weighing when to get that second booster shot. They're essentially now saying, if booster. I'm correct here, you'll let booster. me know. If you booster. want to wait because you suspect you might have a greater need for a booster in the fall, if there is a surge, what? the CDC saying what? they're now okay with that. CDC. Exactly, David. The CDC now says it's okay to consider waiting to get that second booster shot if you've specifically had COVID within the past three months or if getting the shot now would discourage you from getting one in the fall. That's when health officials are hoping to roll out the next generation of improved vaccines that could help head off another winter surge. Well, wow. all right, Witch Johnson leading us off tonight with thank you. COVID ain't going to leave us alone, is it? COVID ain't going to leave us alone. Nationwide baby formula crisis. President Biden will now invoke the Defense Production Act to speed up restocking the shelves across this country. So let's get right to our chief White House correspondent. I know there are several steps to this. Come in, we won't go home. Yes, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. What your favorite this song? The paperwork and raising this Defense Production Act. This, of course, is that tool that we've seen used in the most desperate situations, like that need for critical protective gear during the pandemic. This move today is forcing suppliers to prioritize sending ingredients to these formula makers. The White House says this is going to ensure these factories have those ingredients. They need to ramp up this production. They still have been in this and they have been in Mana. 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 Up into the formula from the abroad and transport that back here. This and is formula that meets American health requirements. But the bottom line right now, the FDA has said that we could be looking at. Mana. Mana. Why must I pause? David, before these store shelves no, are no. fully stocked, it's unclear tonight whether this Why changes don't at all. you use so season? Because my blood pressure gets high. My blood pressure gets high. My blood pressure gets high. To other news tonight and to new reporting here on the investigation of that deadly mass shooting in Buffalo. Authorities say fueled by racist hate. ABC News learning tonight that some of the alleged messages posted online by the suspect were actually shared with a private group online just 30 minutes before the attack. ABC Stephanie Ramos in Buffalo again tonight. Tonight, investigators building their case against the suspect accused of opening fire at a supermarket in Buffalo. As ABC News has learned just minutes before the deadly rampage, some of the 18-year-old's alleged posts on Discord were shared online with a small group. A spokesperson for the social media platform saying in a statement, a private invite-only server was created by the suspect. Yeah, serve as a I ain't got the money for all that expensive stuff. I don't have the money for all that expensive attack. stuff. However, a small group of people were invited to and joined the server. Before that, our records indicate no other people saw the diary chat log in this And even if it's not expensive, I got other stuff I got to buy and buy. I got other stuff on my list. I can't buy. I can't afford everything. I got all kinds of stuff I'm trying to afford. I can't afford everything. The suspect, Peyton Gedrin, now I'd rather just use no season. A racially motivated attack at the Topps grocery store where 10 were killed and three others injured. All of the dead, black. 
Investigators now combing through a nearly 600 page document they say contains those discord posts which chronicle a deadly plot set in motion back in November. Just months earlier, the suspect was investigated by state police for making disturbing comments about murder-suicide in an online class last June. Tonight, the district attorney for Broome County saying the suspect told authorities he was just joking and that the school and police followed protocol. Oh, you would join but your work. I know I done missed so many comments. You would join but your work. That's all good. I, I didn't know if you wanted to join or not. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Obviously yeah, I seen stuff. Uh, so. Why don't you use the other? Uh, not to be dangerous at that time. And he was released to the custody of his family. According to the district attorney, the teenager made no direct you can to the school or any student. Actually, gar garlic and onion powder is salt free and only one, do one dollar. I don't want this that stuff. I don't want that stuff. I got garlic and garlic and uh, garlic powder and uh, onion powder in there. I want to spend my money on what I want. I buy raisins, buy pineapples, buy fruit. I uh, stuff like that to use the season. So I like what I'm doing. Just reported neither law enforcement or the school filed any petition. I buy all kinds of different fruits to use for season, and uh, what else? Exactly. Sweet potatoes you use the season and salad. Yeah. I like the way I meet. The governor's new executive order would now make it mandatory for state police to flag someone believed to be a threat, like a suspect, and prevent them from possessing weapons. David. All right, Stephanie Ramos in Buffalo again tonight for us. Thank you, Stephanie. Now to the economy tonight and another steep plunge on Wall Street, the worst one-day drop now since June of last year. The Dow losing more than 1,100 points. Down more than three and a half percent. Bad, same and bad, same and bad, same and bad. First time Rebecca Jarvis with us live tonight. Rebecca, of course, what drove the plunge today? Hey, that gun man, we won't go. How? More than a hundred CEOs across the country are now signaling about whether or not there's a possible recession ahead. That's right, David. The biggest driver of the American economy is the American consumer. And when we feel pinched by things like surging prices and cut back on spending, it starts yes, showing up in the bell I'm going to cut this live short, y'all. I'm going to cut this live short. Y'all take it easy. Y'all take it easy. I'll see y'all later. I'm about to start up another one here in a little bit. I'm going to cut this live short. Let me go ahead and take it off here. Anybody got any questions before I leave? Anybody got any questions, anything they want to say before I leave? Peace out.